I've got a proposal for you. Let's put out a CD. It'll destroy everything, everyone, and make us extra famous. You can see the pattern that I'm making, C, D, D, E, E, F. So I'm actually going up a C major scale, and with each column, I go to the next note, and I just repeat the bottom note of the column to the left. C, D, D, E, E, F. Let's carry on with the story, and I'm going to start to fill in the gaps between these three columns. Let's put out a CD. It'll destroy everything, everyone, and make us extra famous. First, we'll fly to Germany. And then, we'll go to America. and across the border into British Columbia. I told you that story because it is one way in which we can learn our key signatures and how they relate to major scales. This row along the top here are the sharps in the order in which we add them. And down below is the order of root notes as we add those sharps. So the sharps are here, and these are root notes. And they're also the key names. So let's look at how that looks on manuscript. If I add F sharp, I make the key of G major. If I add a C sharp to that F sharp, I make the key of D major. If I add a G sharp, I make A major. I'll add a D sharp to make E major. An A sharp added will give us B major. An E sharp added will give us F major, is it? Let's look at the keys of Nusha. No, it's F sharp major, because the F is sharpened in the key signature. And finally, I add a B sharp, and that will give me C sharp major. So that's one way we can learn all our major scales in relation to what sharps they use. We can also use it for flats as well. And for that I'm going to rewrite this top row in exactly the same order. But we're going to read it in reverse. Rather than F, C, G, D, A, E, B, we're going to add B flat, then E flat, then A flat, then D flat, then G flat, then C flat, then F flat. And in order to get the correct root notes or key names, we need to just move this pattern over one position. So now the G is not under the F, the G is under the C. And then I just need to complete this pattern. So then the D comes, then the A, then the E, then the B, then the F. And finally I've got a C left over, which is here. So these are my flats, and we can remember that because the flat symbol looks a wee bit like a small case B, and that looks like a capital B. 
So the two B's lead us that that's the flats end and so we're going to work along this way through the flats. If I add a B flat, just draw up my stave here. If I add a B flat, I make F major. If I add an E flat, I'll make B flat major because B is flattened in the key signature there. If I add A flat, I'll make E flat major. If I add a D flat, I'll make A flat major. If I add a G flat, I'll make D flat major. That's the D flat. If I add a C flat, I'll make G flat major. And finally, if I add an F flat, I'll make C flat major. So all of that information about major root notes for flats going this way and sharps going that way came from this one story, which I'll tell you again just to finish this video. Let's put out a CD. It's going to destroy everything and make us extra famous. First we'll fly to Germany, then we'll go to America, then across the border to British Columbia.